is king in the oh. ring. I feel super left coming at you like a bullet in a pack. Ooh, I feel super left if you have to bring it on me to back you. I feel super left You cannot ask for more. The house of pain has been destroyed. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is quarterfinal fight number one in the Crooks and Castles King of the Ring Super Cruiserweight Edition. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He has 25 wins, one loss, two draws, with eight big wins coming by way of KO. Representing City Kickboxing in Auckland, he's a former WKBF middleweight Muay Thai and two-time WMC lightweight, WMC cruiserweight, and world lightweight cruiserweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Davor Matargic! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, it's just wearing red trunks with white trim. He has five wins, two losses, with one KO coming by the way of knockout. Representing multi-styles martial arts in Christchurch, he's a South Island representative and four-man qualifying winner. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jordy Gorilla Bateman! Three three-minute rounds when the bell rings, the referee in charge is Clive Cowley. Jordy. Okay. Yeah, listen to me and obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Okay? Uh, and if you're coming together in a grapple, if you're coming together, work your way out of it, or I'll break you up, okay? Uh, touch gloves to back up a good fight. He's been there plenty of times judge. before, Clive judge. Cowley. Pretty relaxed judge. in his instructions. Hey. Maturjic. He is in the blue shorts, clearly the taller of the two. Geordie Bateman, they call him the gorilla. He has the kinesio tape on Ready? his abdominals. And he's clearly the shorter of the two, coming out of the red corner. Maturgis starts off with a jab. Bateman wanting to get on the inside. Looking to launch those shots over the top. Just wanting to use his range. Good step right hand, catching him coming in, and an uppercut, and the knee. Bateman needs to be cautious about how he comes in because he's just walking in and doubling the impact, Monty. That's right. Both men similar in weight. It's a 94 kg division, but geez, they're different in shape and size. 92 kg, I should say, there, Mike. But you can see it comes in all shapes and sizes. As we see the taller man trying to use Matarugic, his reach and length right now. Okay, yeah. That was an off-balance shot. Matuch, Matuch just caught on the back foot there, but you can see you don't want to make any mistakes in this division. All the boys can hurt hard. Doug Viney in the corner of... That's a big body kick there, taken just below the elbow. There's the leg kick, Bateman dropping down. He's feeling those, Monty. Yeah, Bateman coming forward, trying to land his over and right, but he's susceptible to a bit of a knee from Matarugic. The taller man obviously can find that home on this shorter guy. Just likes to see Matarugic just drop his punches to the chest level. He's just overthrowing a little bit. There's the uppercut. Bateman trying for the sweeping leg kick, but missing wildly. Matarugic just doesn't want to wait too long. He's most at risk when he's on the ropes there, switching to southpaw momentarily. Missing with that straight right hand and once again switching to southpaw. Using that to launch the left kick to the ribs. Of course, the liver's on that side as well. And there he goes with the liver shot, doubling up on it. Certainly felt that one. Oh, beautiful changing levels well. Finishing on the liver shot, as you mentioned. Nice the way he bridged the gap, using his long levers and just nice and relaxed, composed, measured, and finishes on the body. Good interception work too, just catching Bateman on the way in. Just missing with that overhand right, although that left knee came off the clavicle. And again, going downstairs to the body. That left knee came off the clavicle a little higher, and it was chin territory. Bit of Jackie Chan action, and there's a right hand that goes off the temple. Bateman has been planted. The temple shot. Can he get up? He is all at sea, and the ship is about to sink. Nine, yeah. Hands up, look at me. You all right? Can you continue? Yep, let's go. Well, Matajic needs to put the pressure on now. Second knockdown. Got to be looking very closely. That 
That was just an off-balance shot, but Bateman showing plenty of heart. Ten seconds to go in the round. There's another big straight left from the southpaw position. There he is, he's rocked badly. Well, saved by the bell. I would have a very close look if I was in his corner. The Tajic will be getting told off because he did not look at his corner when he knocked his man down and he lost a vital opportunity, Monty. Look, I don't think he recovered at all from the first knockdown. Some beautiful work by Matarugic. He got him on a number of occasions, but that time he still stayed nice and composed, although he smelled blood. He smelled blood. He smelled blood. He smelled blood. Yeah. You're lost in your own zone. Minus two, I heard you. Pay attention. Yeah. Okay. Two minus two. Or oh, even slap seven. Yeah. Yeah. We just see the replays now. This is the one that catches Bateman. Whether it was the right or was it coming back with the left hook, I think it was definitely the right hand, the straight right. Didn't feel the full force of it, but it was enough to get him on the way down. The second time he got wobbled, he knew he was in right. He didn't really recover. Now it's up for round two. Well, has he recovered? He really doesn't look great. He has got plenty of heart, but Matajic completely in charge at this point. Nice. Call for the left uppercut from Doug Viney, the former K1 Vegas champion. Bateman has no answer when Matajic opens up. Just needs to pick his shots, take his time. Big shin check. How'd you like that one on your shins, Monty? Oh, that'd be a no thank you, Mike. Unless I've got some shin pads to assist. Just the, the uppercut is there for Matajic, just needs to use it. Left uppercut, right hand again, really just picking his shots. Beautifully now, Bateman, he's uh, slowed down. He's getting caught on the edge of range. There's no faking on the way in. I think Matajic just needs to drop that kick a little more. That was a right hand to the chest. It's getting very one-sided at this point. Matajic, though, he's being patient. And uh, that's important, particularly in these fights. You can go on a little while. You don't want to pick up any unnecessary bruising. Needs to hook his right hand just around the guard. And again, there's a body shot there. Another right hand that landed across the temple. Bateman took that one well, though. Checked again by Matajic. Yeah, that's a bit of a reminder to him just to be more cushioned. And there it is! He's been absolutely planted. That is the end of the fight. And it finishes early, which is important for Matajic as he goes forward into the semi-final. Halfway through the second round, Jordy Bateman, it was a brave performance. But uh, in the end, the class and experience difference just too much. Now, Jordy Bateman, he's uh, back to the drawing board. Very disappointed. But just the experience different too much. And there was the left kick. The right kick, rather, off the left hook. Set it up, drop the rear hand, which is the left hand of Bateman. And the shin wrapped itself around his neck. And it was good night, nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute and 41 seconds into round number two, you're